Welcome to the channel everybody. Welcome to Pula Resort in Mallorca. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing, looking at the new Odyssey AI-1 and AI-1 milled models. I've brought somebody along with me all the way from Northern Ireland to see if we can help him with his putting. Can AI help? It's not Roy McElroy, in case you were wondering. Al. Can AI no. help Al's putting? No. Okay. <laughs> Was that the biggest anti-climax ever in golf? There they are. What's your first impressions of these putters? Because you've not seen these before. Not, not in hand, no. Um, that milled one is gorgeous, isn't Absolutely it? Look stunning. at that. It looks a million dollars. It probably is a million dollars. Probably is a million dollars. <laughs> well, I don't know anything about this, so I'm learning like you guys. Yeah. What's going off here as well? Like there's, there's, there's so much going off with these putters. I'm interested to know a little bit more. So we played yesterday and Dan obviously saw something. We were a bit concerned, I think, with the putting. That's wow. gonna be... Oh, oh, look at that go. It doesn't look as fast as it is. And he, uh, he said, I've got something that might perform a miracle. And here we are. <laughs> so just explain to me a little bit about the putter that you actually use. And this isn't just necessarily, we're talking about a Wilson putter here, but this style of putter. Yeah, so I've always been attracted, I still do, I look down at this and feel very good yeah. <laughs> until I actually hit it, yeah, <laughs> because my putting is terrible. Yeah. So we were just saying that this is the least forgiving sort of design out there. It's just a piece of metal, really. Yeah. Very nice metal yeah. on a stick. So no technology to help me, no MOI, no stability. I'm just trying to make the game as hard as possible. And if you think about this particular putter, I look at this as like, I mean, it, it is a bladed putter, but it's a, it's like a bladed iron. Yeah. Now. Talking about MOI, this is like talking about stability. So when our miss hits this putter, you're gonna get a lot of twisting in the face. Yep. And also you're gonna lose them ball speed off the club face with that. Now, when you're hitting your longer putts, I notice that sometimes your distance control really does jump in and out. And I put it down to the fact that because obviously that stroke is getting longer and longer, yeah. your, your hit, middle hit ratio really just drops off. And yeah. therefore, you're you're then striking it in the perimeter of the putter, yeah, which is where you're losing that control and stability with that. Well, this is where we got to a point yesterday where I started to think on the long puts about strike, which I've never had to do on a putting stroke in my life. I yeah. just back and through, and I thought, look, if I get to a point where I've got 30, 40 feet, and I don't quite get this right, it just kills the roll. Yeah. So I had something like you'll see in the video, 60, 70 percent of the distance because I hadn't struck it. Out of the, the middle. And and what happens to your confidence? Oh, it was not, non existent Absolutely yesterday. Shot. I was hit the ball well, but it, I just knew. I said to you, I was sticking wedges close, and it's just like. Yeah, just, good, good par. Yeah, great, great par. Maybe a bogey. <laughs> <laughs> Pushed it. So bad. Uh, not a happy boy with that one in his hand at the moment. Not happy. So to kick things off, we're gonna go with the AI-1 putter. There's two different models, like I said. There's the milled version and then the AI-1 version. There's lots of obviously tech that's gone into these putters and I will talk to you about that as we work on through this video. But for Al's point of view, we're gonna get him into the AI-1. A Couple of different heads, there's seven different heads available, but I've got these two here that can uh, that Al's gonna have a little go with first and see how he gets on. So in my hands, we've got the AI-1-1. Yep. And we've got the AI-1 Rossi, which is obviously a classic design as well. Straight away, I'm looking at this one, Dan, for a bit more mass. I don't know yes. what you think. Well, that is actually the John Ram style. Oh, is it? This is more your classic kind of... Fancy myself as a bit of a Ram. Yeah, you, de you definitely <laughs> have that, haven't you? Well, I... Um, <laughs> but this one, um, so that one's obviously, that's got um, lots of MOI. Yes. Because it's a massive head on it. Whereas this one, stability maybe a little bit less. But this is kind of more of your traditional look, isn't it? Your old yep. ping answer style putter look in that one. Of course. Um, the other thing that you've got to notice as well is the difference in necks, yeah. which are really important. Now you did a video recently, where you get a bit of toe hang there. Yeah. So obviously the shorter the neck, the squatter the neck, yeah. generally means that you're going to get a little bit more toe hang, which means that that club will flow a little bit more. Yes. Um, whereas if you get a neck that's slightly longer, you'll get less toe hang and the, and the actual putter will 
what they call more face balanced. Yeah. It will keep it a lot straighter back and through. Very important when picking a putter. Sits lovely, doesn't it? Is it like a navy blue? It's a navy blue finish, yeah. Very they're nice both, white contrast. Yeah, they've both got a navy finish on these. Very nice. So this is like quite a low profile mallet. It's not big and bulky. It seems quite quite shallow. Um, bit of release for me, this one with the toe Definitely, line. you're going to get, this is going to be very similar to what you currently use in the fact that the, the club head will... Oh, that feels so soft. Oh, oh, wow. Oh. That was the most vicious lip out. <laughs> Put wise there, that felt very nice. It felt nice off the face. Yeah, so this, this should be very similar to... The white hot. The old white hot putters. I was going to say, is this a white hot insert? That's the white hot insert. So that's got the urethane part in it. Okay. So that's going to have that extra sort of soft, buttery kind of feel that you would expect to get from a white hot putter, which yeah. made it they made quite famous, weren't they? Yeah. For that. Definitely so. Um, so micro hinge is gone in this. Yeah. I mean, white hot inserts have been... Go forever. For, I mean, if it works, stick with it. it. Exactly. Right, Al, come up to this longer one this time. Let's get, yeah, let's get this MOI really kicking in, shall we? So a little bit longer. So this is where Al would start to get a few of his miss hits. See, that was a perfect example of poor stroke, terrible strike. But I feel my put, but that ball would have been here yesterday. Yeah. So four foot, five foot yeah. shorter. It was nowhere near the centre. Probably missed even this nice white, <laughs> white hot insert. <laughs> but um, obviously it's called AI. What actually is AI about it? So what Odyssey are actually saying is that they've created an AI insert backer in the back of this actual uh, head, which is kind of like a contour rippling effect that works across the face, across your striking zone. So very similar to what you're seeing possibly in irons now, where if you do miss hit your shots, you're gonna start to see the ball speed maintained at that good level because a lot of miss hits would lose the ball speed and therefore you'd lose your distance control. What Odyssey is saying is that they've used artificial intelligence to be able to create that rippling effect and keep our ball speeds high. So what's the reason for the actual window? I mean, I've got to admit though, on tour, set behind a ball, it's going to look, it's going to be only one putter, isn't it? It can't, it can't be anything else with this like little AI one window, but is there any why is the window there? Well, that's a really good question. Huh? These companies, they talk about tech a lot, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Well, they never actually really showcase tech. This no. window is just allowing us to be able to showcase visual. what they've actually got in there. I do love a bit of visual tech, you know. You've got to have a bit of visual tech. Yeah, because it's almost your word against them unless you cut something open. Yeah. You know, it's nice to see, look. It's nice it, to see what's has, actually going yeah, on. Exactly. Yeah. I love the lip out, that's a bit pacey. That at the back looked absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Now, talking about that, mm -hmm. beauty, look at the shaft in that. Oh, so we've still got a stroke lab. So you've tested probably lots of Odyssey putters over the years. I have. And again, Odyssey not afraid to talk about tech, but the stroke lab has continued, even though it does look slightly different in its profile than previous models. Yes, the graphite. The colour's gone. Yeah. So it's the steel shaft. Yeah. Still going with this very lightweight um, shaft in it, but it still does have the Stroke Lab technology in there. Was it a game changer, Stroke Lab technology, to you? I think, yeah, people talk about tech. Um, that was obviously, again, it could have been a bit gimmicky or come across a bit gimmicky because we'll try anything to make something better. But it was, you know, it worked, everyone wanted it, and yeah. it's been around again now for years. And um, think about this as well. You know, we talk about the fact that um, visuals of the tech on this particular head. Mm -hmm. Well, in Stroke Lab, they created a different color of shaft, should we say, with a, with a little circle ring at the top here that broke it between graphite and steel. Mm. They were showcasing that tech in that. They've kind of stepped away from that now. It's almost like I feel like this could I could put it down on the ground and it's like a transformer it'll just walk off on its own. <laughs> yeah. It's mad, isn't it? How much technology is in this? <laughs> But is it any better, Al? I'm probably not the right person to ask. <laughs> but it's helped. Like I say, we need all the assistance we can get, and this is what the, the, the engineers, R&D, are all trying to do, is maximise performance out of every crevice of this. So, I know Odyssey always supported them, always loved their ability to make good putters, and if it helps me, I'm actually going to ask you, can I steal this for Al Canada? Mm, we'll see. We'll okay. see how we get on. Please, please Uncle Dan, please. <laughs> Oh, you got one out. 
And then finally. But in order to get one, you've had to change putters. It's true. You've gone to now the mill. We've gone to the mill. Um, if Bruce Wayne did a what's in the bag, that would be his putter. Why did you say that? It's very Batman, isn't it? You think so? It's like straight off of his car. So this is now the milled version. So whereas we had the sort of white hot version um, with that softer feel, we've now got that sort of milling on this front insert. So we've still got all the technology inside the head, but we've actually got more of a, I would say more of a classy, sleeker kind of look. Very. Because we're not showcasing that tech as much in this one, but I mean, that is a thing of beauty, is That's it not? That's gorgeous. I mean, that, the putter's all right as well. Yeah, but the tech in this one obviously is obviously still there, still got the AI, yeah. but there is that difference of look of the insert there, which I think is going to fall maybe more towards the kind of traditional players out there. Yeah, it's absolutely, visually, just like I say, it looks a million dollars. Yeah, it really does. So again, in the milled version, we've got seven different heads available. I've brought out three with us here to test. The 7T, this is this one. So I've actually had, I used to use a putter like this. I've actually still got it in the office at home. Okay, the This fang. is more, yeah, the fang. This is kind of like your face balance version, because obviously yep. you've got that little, uh, the neck on it allows that face to stay nice and square. Yep. Then in your hands, you've got two others. We've got the traditional, which I call this like the Newport 2 or the yep. old, answer to kind of shape yep so that's very similar to what i kind of use and then this is very unique you like this don't you? i do yeah i really do um we've got a bit of a, again a bit of, bit of toe hang yeah so a shorter neck shorter neck nice long uh, line on the on the top there which i think for lots of players is great from a visual point of view very nice yep but but having so much more of a head, a bigger head, surely for someone like you, that's gonna give you lots of confidence, isn't big it? Head, big head, big head, big head, perfect, big head. yeah. Instead, again, like you say, more mass, more MOI stability, off center strikes, yeah. hopefully give us a bit of bit of help, much needed help. On that note, we're having a putting comp. Oh, really? Yeah, we're having a little putter. You didn't tell me this part, I've been sabotaged. One, two, three, four, five putters out. This is like going into a pro shop, looking at a rack of putters, and deciding which one do you want. It have to be the 80. Yeah. 80. Now, is it because you've gone for that because you like the kind of stealthy look of that it's head? Very stealthy, very premium looking. But Milled version. I, yeah, I do like, I think it's just, again, like it looks like it's gonna help me a lot. You've gone as far away from your current putter than it's possible. I'm listening, you see. You are listening. I am, I need, and like I said, I need that mass. More mass. <laughs> All right, Uncle Dan. There's two. Okay. I, whenever I see John Ram putt, yeah. I think he's a magician obviously anyway, but I think he just looks so comfortable over with his putter. So I'm gonna go with the Rossi. I used to have a Rossi back in the day, original day. Um, so I'm gonna go for the Rossi look with a little bit of that shorter neck as well, because I like a little bit of, a little bit of toe flow for me. So Al mentioned it a little bit earlier, talking about the navy blue kind of finish, the kind of stealthy look with these putters. Well, Odyssey saying that they've released it with a PVD finish, which is that navy blue look that you're seeing on both the heads. I'm seeing something that's maybe just a little bit darker when I look down at the middle version, seeing it almost like a little bit bluer when we look at the AI1 version, but Odyssey saying that they're just giving us that premium look that lots of golfers are after. So it's Big Al versus Uncle Dan. It's also milled. Yeah. Versus AI1. Perfect. Let's go. Three parts. I love this, you know. You've do Uncle Dan's giving us this putted uh, competition. He knows my long distance is st like stuffed. So he's basically got number seven, which is in Narnia. And by the <laughs> way, there's also next one's a par four, 375 <laughs> yards. <laughs> Nice, Al. It's not hit it. I had the line though, it's again. It's bang on. Yeah, lovely strike, just didn't give it enough, obviously. I think I've given you this one, gifted. Merry Christmas. If I was to beat you out of this, this would be like, devastating for you. This putter just sits so good. So it's quite it's quite shallow, isn't it? Very but shallow. Half the ball yeah. is covered. Just up the left, let it come back. Oh! <laughs> you, you've just done me. I'll tell you what is interesting about this one compared to the um, uh, the sort of bladed look was you're not getting all that tech in the back edge here. You're still getting more of that traditional kind of Odyssey look. But it's when you turn it upside down, there's your window. 
in this particular head. That's cool. That is cool, isn't it? Little hidden, little hidden window. So, I mean. So I've just, just, snuck, I've just like, snuck you, haven't I? I think you do this on purpose, just trolling me. Just, just literally, just snuck you. Of course. In usual business. That is lovely. Let's go for ten. I think ten's a reasonable. And and now is a good opportunity. Do you want to change putters? You've still got a couple of others back there to test out if you want to go and change the putter. Was it or that are you bad? Sticking with it. No, I'm sticking with. It. I'm happy with this. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm going to change. Oh, you are going to change. I'm going to change. Oh, I'm going to change. I'm going to change. So, Uncle Dan said that you're going for the. So I'm going to go with this one, which is actually very similar to what I've got okay. currently. Well, so okay. I want to get a traditional visual. blade. Yeah. And I want to go for again the traditional blade. So it's a traditional blade versus a traditional blade of the AI one but, one. But you're going to go for softer feel now. Softer. Yes, with the yeah. urethane. Which white you may heart. feel. You may feel like you get a little bit more spring off the face with that one. There's just something about changing your putter that's exciting. I think yeah. it's just a hope. Not every it's putter. Hope. It's a lovely, a lovely uh, shape. Oh, go on now. Oh, needed to hit it. Okay, difference then uh, between the last two putters that you've just hit. A lot softer this is. Is it a lot yeah. softer? Yes. Yeah. Um, I think that's more of a preference rather than a pro or a con. If you like it a bit, bit faster, or hotter off the face, I think the build seems to give you that. And this is definitely a bit more, a bit more subtle. Well, I think we're probably going to go all flat here because that's a pretty impressive putt you've done. Thank there. you. Uh, they are. I don't hear those words very often. What impressive? Impressive putt. So, yes, talk about the milled version, like stealthy. That is exactly what we're seeing out of this particular head. Proper stealth. Proper stealth. Proper stealth. Say. Very, very similar to what I've got in my, my putter. Of Give before. it a good Bruce Wayne. Give it a bit of Brucey. Oh. Do you know what I did notice though? The difference in possibly the feel. You talked about softness and, and firmness, maybe a little bit firmer out of this. It's actually a different, like a pitch off the sound. Yeah. The sound off the face is yeah. different. I think in the AI1, you're getting more of a kind of a duller kind of sound. Whereas when I hit the milled version, you're getting more of a, like a high pitch, like a, not a ping, but it's certainly like a higher pitch noise, not as dull as what we're getting out of it. And again, that just comes down to personal preference for each individual. It is getting serious. Yeah, we're just doing a bit of, bit of uh, gardening. gardening. <laughs> so final part, you've chosen the 70, num sev number 70, yeah, the fang. which is the milled. The milled. Even though you probably preferred the feel of the softer AI1. I think so. AI I think more testing to be had, but I think, yeah, it's, like I say, it's the two very different feels, like yeah. you just said. Now we're going to go for a slightly shorter putt this time, because we want a grandstand finish, don't we? Yeah. We want we want somebody to hold it, win it with hot. Yes, here he goes. Just a little observation I've had, switched on. It was left to right coming down, so we're going back. So I assume it's right to left. Could be, eh? Okay. Smart, eh? No, oh, he's done it. He's absolutely that was done a it. Lovely roll. It's good job it went in because it was going to be a few, few inches past, but it was a yeah, lovely roll. He's the ultimate professional, isn't he? Just he could have celebrated, but. He's just focusing on this video. This is serious. It just got serious. Okay, I'm gonna test for the last part. The one that you went for straight away, the 8T in the milled. Beautiful looking head, a little bit of flow. Uh, I think there's gonna be so many people wanting this puppy. It's, it sits nice, don't it? This for the half. I'd just like to thank my family. You just lost to me in a putter challenge. I, mean, I can't believe it, this is a first. I've actually lost you now in a short game challenge and now a putting challenge. Yeah. And there's no, there's no point in me taking you on in a driving challenge. If you guys want to send some like super chats to make you feel better, the super chats are below. <laughs> So a couple of other things that I really want to mention when it comes to these particular putters. Obviously going for a fitting is really important, so make sure you book yourself in to test these putters, but they've got different availabilities when it comes to custom options. The lengths you can change, so you've got 33, 34, 35 inches in length, and then you've got these movable weights at the front as well, so they're interchangeable. So if you want something with a little bit of a lighter kind of feel, then you can go for a five gram weight. We've got 10 gram, 15, and slightly heavier, which again, I prefer more of a heavier feel we've got the 20 gram weights that can go in there as well but I'd like to hear what you think are you going to be going out and testing 
the Odyssey putters, the AI, artificial intelligence. Can they help you? They've definitely helped. Ow, because I've never seen you hold a putt. That's your first. I ever. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you again on the next video. So can I borrow this for Alcanada or not?